Hi, <gasps> chat. Hi, everyone. What's up, guys? This is where I've been the entire time. I've been in this goddamn outlet. <laughs> Hi chat. Hi everyone. Hello. Welcome. We we might have some new people here from the from the series. Welcome. I got to film in a goddamn abandoned mall. Do you have any idea how cool that is? Do you have any idea how amazing I am so incredibly happy. Do you have any idea how cool that is? I've been wanting to do that for so long and I've had to keep it a secret for the past like 8 months. I've had to keep it a secret for the past, like, eight months. But we did it. We did it. Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna put on my hat. I'm gonna put on my hat just so I don't have to keep on adjusting my hair. They were the 15 tier ones. Jesus Christ. It's world. Thank you. Putting on the hat. I just don't want to have to care. I just don't want to have to care. <sighs> ah! Ah! I hope, first of all... Thank you guys for watching. Second of all, hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, third of all, if you liked it, then you can get then you can get merch. Generationlost.tv. We have a new jacket up there. It's the one that uh, it's the one that Hetch wore. So it doesn't have the hood. We had to add the hood, but it has uh, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, 100%. I, I have to, I'm going to do this spiel and then we'll get into it. But, basically, cool. first cool announcement. There's like so many cool announcements, but this is the coolest one. Is that I'm going to be making, and I'm going to be developing, a full generation loss team. So, if you want to support that, if you want to support that, why am I so pale? Um, if you want to support that, then, um... Get the merch, because 100% of the merch profits are going into the project. Literally, it's just going to keep on funding it and just do more and more. So, that's all I'm going to... That's that's my plug. That's my plug. If you like what this looks like, if you like this, you know, if you like... There's a beanie. I lost the sample that I had, but it's a cool beanie. There's pants. There's pants, okay? You can get pants. All right? There's so much. As well as there's gift cards, you can give it to your friends. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna. That's all I'm gonna do. I just wanted to thank you guys for the pro for supporting it. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I I needed like I I have not been able to like have a cohesive thought in like the past like day because before it was just like I I am just so blown away. By how much you guys liked it because like it was a big swing it was a big swing with by doing this but um i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys enjoyed it because that has been in my mind for the past like year and i have talked to literally everyone that would hear it in my life i'm so sorry I just didn't stop talking about it for the past, like, eight months to, like, anyone. Whenever someone would ask me something that I was working on, I- you're on activation, I would just instantly tell them everything. So let's talk about- let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how it started. Let's talk about how it started, shall we? So, about a year ago, in May, fun fact, um... I had the first call about it. We had the first call about it. And originally, 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 it was just, it was just the, um, it was just the cabin. But the cabin was different. Originally, it was just the cabin, but the cabin was different. Um, it was going to be this whole thing. And it wasn't even in generation loss. It wasn't even the generation loss thing. It was just a silly stream. In the beginning, it was literally just a silly stream. It was supposed to be like a haunted house, but you know, like chats, the ghosts and everything. And it was supposed to be that. And then I had a conversation uh, with Ash Kabosu mainly. 
and he was just like, what about like your like horror thing that you're that you're trying to do? Why don't you just like do something with that? And I was like, you know, I was thinking about it, but I was like hearing it, hearing it from him. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. I probably should. I probably should do that. Actually, uh, that makes a lot of sense. So I went back and I wrote the final scene. <laughs> The final scene was one of the last things, or one of the first things, one of the first things that I had actually written for it. I said, and okay, by the way, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. If you haven't, if you haven't watched it, go watch it. MC! Sorry. Hi. Um, <laughs> if you haven't watched it, then go watch it. Go watch it all. All right? Should I say it? I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to announce it. Whatever. Um, there is going to be... So basically, there is a lot of stuff that happened in the stream, right? There's a lot of lines. There's a lot of dialogue. There's a lot of things that I want to make more clear story-wise. There's a lot of things that I want to make more clear story-wise, which is why I'm currently working on making the founder's cut of the stream of the streams essentially so it's basically going to be a whole movie i have recorded every single camera pov so you're going to see new angles you're going to see like the right things and everything there's going to be stuff that i'm going to add in there's going to be lines that i'm going to re-record and add in as well uh just to really make sure that the book is fully closed. Uh, sorry, this motion. I'm sorry. Um, on Generation 1. That will be the sort of founder's cut of it. And that will be coming out, hopefully, within a few weeks. I'm going to be nonstop working on it. Uh, basically, I'm going to take a little bit of a break. Uh, I'm working on it. And then I'm going to basically just be nonstop working on it as soon as I get home and you'll see you'll see some new stuff you'll see some new stuff you'll see some new images you'll see some new lines the ending sequence is going to be a lot more sad and i'm really why is it doing that the ending sequence is going to be a lot more sad i'm just going to say that it's going to there's a lot there's something that i was that i meant to say during the ending sequence that i didn't get to say so i'm going to add it in into the founder's cut um so yeah, so basically, also, if you don't have time to watch the streams, this will be like a digestible movie thing. Uh, I would say probably about like 90 minutes to two hours. And the last stream will basically be like half of it. Um, <laughs> how does it get sadder? Oh, there are some implications of this that, again, just like we couldn't really make too clear because of the fact that it was streamed. Um, but everything turned out perfectly. Everything, well, everything turned out so perfectly to it. And, um, yeah. You're gonna see the live ending. The live ending! So, there was a live ending, basically. We didn't plan for it too much, because we honestly thought that you guys would choose die. Um, so when we... <laughs> So when, when in the control room, when it went over to live, everyone crapped themselves. Um, but then it went slowly over to die, which we were like, thank God. Um, because honestly, okay, I mean, like, come on. I wanted to, so basically, the main thing of this entire series was that I wanted to get to that point. I wanted to get to that ending scene, and I wanted to see if I could have a collective amount of people actually execute someone. And you did, and it was incredible. Just the, just the moral implications of it are so interesting to me. And I love it so much. Um, but the live ending was going to be essentially... And, I mean, this is really never going to be seen. Never going to be shown. Um, so I'm just going to say it. But essentially what it would have been is that employees would have came up, would have untied him, and... and shoved a mask on him and he would have been dragged away kicking and screaming and then it would have rolled credits
That's what it would have been. <laughs> Listen, we wanted to make it so that it was a sad ending either way. It's not, it's not a happy story. That would have been cool. I mean, honestly, I really wanted to die. <laughs> I really wanted to. Uh, that sounds weird, but I really, really wanted... Because that, you have no idea. Okay, that box was made by an actual, like, movie, um, like, metalworking company. And it was, like, it is the most expensive prop out of the entire thing. The second most expensive prop out of the entire thing was Germa's prosthetics. <laughs> he, like, basically, when we were, like, talking about it in the very, very beginning... He, he, he was talking and he was just like, what if I had like like a full like fa face prosthetic and everything? Because um, when we were like designing his character and everything, and I was like, that is incredible. And so we were just like, yeah, what if he just like had a mask and then he took it off and it was just like not him. Um, so, <laughs> so he, so the, that, the, the, his, his, his like facial prosthetics are the second most expensive prop in the entire thing. It is hilarious. It is so funny. And speaking of, speaking of that, there exists, and I'm going to try to find this. Um, basically, oh, announcement, another announcement. I'm going to be doing special behind-the-scenes streams for every single episode. For episode one, for episode two, and episode three. You're going to get three streams, for, one stream for each episode. I'm going to try to have some people come on. We're going to talk about it and everything. We're going to prepare a ton of behind-the-scenes stuff um, on how it was developed, how everything came to be. Um, that will be happening within, like, the next two weeks. So... Stay tuned for that, okay? Stay tuned for that. Um, but basically, yeah, his, his, so there exists a, um, a cake of me and Charlie during the dress rehearsal. They made this, like, giant poster of, like, the, in the, in the Puzzler Shrine that was, like, literally just, like, a close-up of his face in, like, in, like, black and white. And they showed it to me, like, the day before. And they were just like, hey, we were thinking about, like, putting this on it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. You can put that there. And I wasn't expecting it to be so big. It is, like, a huge, like, it is, like, a this big poster. So Charlie and I, in the dress rehearsal, we're, like, acting and everything. We're, like, you know, getting into it. We turn the corner. We see that. And we just break down. Like, we just, we just start laughing. Like, it's, it's, like, a, such a serious scene. And it's just, like, we, we turn, we turn the corner. And we just, like, break down, and we just completely lose it. And also, speaking of, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about so many stories, but Charlie purposely, every single time I would try to go up to him in, the, in, like, the streaming area, he would try to make me break. Every single time, he would try to make me break. And it was, it was the funniest thing. It's why he was just, like, he, like, randomly switched as soon as he saw me be like yeah i'm gonna get my balls out and everything and i was just like what and like in my mind during the, like the live take i was just like dude you can't do this to me you can't you just can't do this to me um yeah it was so funny a bloopers reel definitely exists we have full dress rehearsal which i want to edit and release on like the rambu channel or something we have a full dress rehearsal of the first day and it is so funny it is so funny like honestly, like I I love the dress rehearsal. I love I love the actual show, but I love the dress rehearsal of it because I had to cook using like fake food, and so like Charlie and I were just like riffing off of everything. It was so funny. So yeah, a lot of behind the scenes stuff will probably be uploaded on the Rambu channel on YouTube. Probably I might just like get a couple of editors to you know do it. A couple of like the production company's editors because they'll have access to it. Um. So yeah, so that'll be cool. What would a 50-50 ending look like? Oh, I don't even know if that's possible, but if, if it were to happen, if it were to be like... Because the thing is, right, you might get 50%, 50%, but there would probably be, like, still, like, two or three people, right, either way. Um, but if it was, like, true 50-50, I guess we would have just improv something, and it probably would have been me dying. <laughs> we, w we would have improv something, and we probably, like... Everyone was very, very aware of the fact that, like, I really wanted that box to close on my head. You know, I really, really wanted the box to close in my head. That was like my one thing that I was just like, oh my God, I really, really want to have this box close in my head. And it worked.
It was great. I'm so happy that you guys liked it. I'm so happy that you guys liked it. Um, but yeah. It's so, it's so cool. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so let me talk about, again, how it started and everything. So, whoa! What was that? Thank you, Gilded Serpents. What the hell? For the, how many? Oh, for the 30 tier ones. Thank you so much. What the hell? Thank you so much. I hope that you guys are doing well. It means, it means a lot. Um, but basically, the way that I wrote it was that I wrote the last scene first. I always write the endings first, and then... The endings change as I write and everything, but I wanted your guys' experiment to be, will you kill? Will you kill someone? And that was where I wanted to go. So then I started to write it from there. Um, originally, originally, it was episode one was the cabin, right? It was like a regular thing, and then that would transport us because the cabin, God damn it, I want to talk about the cabin. Okay, the cabin is honestly one of my favorite ones. It is what is it in my top three of the episodes um and because it has so many references to just like regular horror tropes and everything and it's like like even then like i don't know how many people caught this but like the um the stretchy wall and everything is a direct reference to a scene in nightmare on elm street um which i'm like which i really really love and I also, it's also one of my favorite sets because the cabin makes no sense cohesively. Like you walk into the basement and there's just stairs that just lead to nowhere. Like there's like an attic and everything. And it, I, I love all of the implications of the base of the, um, of the cabin so much. I love the implications of the cabin so goddamn much. It is my favorite. It is one of my favorite things. Like it is like... I know, I know it's one of the weirdest episodes, but like, it was really cool. I really liked it. It was fun. Um, it was good. And like, I want to, oh, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm sorry. I'm going to like, I'm going to like switch on like so many things because I can finally say so much. Saw references. I got to make a Saw movie, but with streamers. Do you have any idea how happy that made me? Do you have any idea how happy? <laughs> doing <laughs> sorry just some just some extra <laughs> they're just roaming oh, no i think that was <laughs> i think that was big um i got to make a saw movie but with streamers that was the main the main like one sentence thing of number two which had always existed is I want to make a saw, but with streamers. Because, because a really, really cool thing about this series is that each episode represents a different era of horror as well. There is uh, old horror. There is like early 2000s, like where it starts to get into like modern horror. And then we have modern horror, which is the last one. Um, and that's what that's what all of them kind of represent the main inspiration for sort of like the overall concept of it like the thing that i like was like in my mind was cabin in the woods uh it was the idea of like this completely controlled horror show that was that has like this under underground facility because the one thing that i didn't like about cabin in the woods is how much they didn't explore the facility as much like i really wanted to like see more of it and everything so that's that was like a huge inspiration and a huge thing for it um, another one was the Truman Show. Uh, another one was Saw, a big, big Saw. Um, and yeah, it was like, I loved just so much of it. Like, you have no idea. Like I, there were so many, like just, just like things that were in my mind as I was writing this thing. Like it was, it was very, it was very sick. It was very, very cool. Willy Wonka, yeah, that was actually, um, so, fun, fun thing is that when I, so, on, like, I think, like, my second uh, meeting about this, um, I was talking with uh, Jake, who's, like, the main, main producer guy of JK, and uh, he was actually with uh, German everything. German was in the background um, because he, they were just, like, talking about something, and basically, like, he, he was, like, listening in and everything, 
And then that's how I got in contact with him to sort of like, I basically had a call uh, with Jerma in which I was like, hey, I'm doing like Saw, but with streamers. And I want you to be uh, like the Jigsaw ripoff, essentially. And I was like, so because I wrote episode two with literally no one else in mind to play a, like a parody of Jigsaw. Like, I don't think there is, there could be anyone else, literally not even like streamer wise, but also actor wise that could play the role that I had in mind other than Jerma. And so when I called them and everything, I was like, Hey, I'm doing this. And I was like fully expecting to like go into the full spiel of everything. And then he was just like, yeah, sure. And like, I was literally like, I, I, I was, I was almost about to go into like the full explanation of like everything. And he was just like, yeah, sure. And he's like, uh, is there anything that I can do to like help with it? And I was just like, yeah, I mean, if you want to like help write some of it and everything. So we had like a couple of calls in which, um, he actually helped, uh, co-write basically a lot of the, like the traps and everything of Saw. So essentially what the second episode, a lot of the second episode was, was basically if he were to actually make a Saw movie. Um, like the, the keys bit was his idea of just like, what if there was like a bunch of keys on screen, you choose one and it's the right one, right? Or like, what if like, and then there was like, so there were so many things like the Wonka room was all his idea. He was just like, what if we just had you guys like play mousetrap? I was just like, you know, sure, sure. It was great. It was absolutely great. And there was originally actually another room, which we cut um, because it wasn't able to be built. And um, we had to cut it like literally on our like first walkthrough, like a couple of months ago. We had to cut it because it was like, this just doesn't make sense. It like, it doesn't flow and everything. And originally it was for um, someone to basically like come in from the carousel and we had to like sit on these like chairs or like fill up blood or something and they would get launched through the wall. <laughs> they would they would sit on the chair and then just get flung back through the wall and then the, the wall would come back. Um, and then that's like literally they would walk in, get killed, walk out or, and, then, and then be done. That, that was it. And it was hilarious. It was it was a, it was a good it was a good one, um, but we couldn't build it, so we were just like, "This is going to be too technically impossible," so we had to get rid of that one. Thank you for the twenty tier ones. Thank you so much, Bacchity. Thank you, man. Oh my goodness. Thank you, dude. I hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness. Wow. Thank you. I hope that you're doing well. Oh man. I'm just talking about my my thing. I'm just talking about my thing. Ugh. I love it. Um, but yeah, I mean the it was it was really it was really really fun. I think the second episode was one of my favorite to plan because like we just kept on like riffing and going and going, and it was it was fun. It was really really fun to plan. And then the third episode, the third episode was originally actually a sort of like facility it was originally going to be this like laboratory essentially um kind of like the it was like going to be modeled sort of after like the hawkins laboratory from stranger things except it was going to have a lot of like supernatural elements to it and like it was going to have like i would open up a door and it would just like straight up you know like be like this like interdimensional thing and then i would close it again you know and then it was going to be like this facility but it didn't really flow as well it didn't it didn't really flow as well um, and then one day my, uh, my producer guy, Jake, he called me and he was like, Hey, I found a mall. I was like, I was like, what? You found a, you found a mall? You found a mall? And then I was just like, dude, we have to make that a part of it. Like we have to make that a part of it. That's the facility. That's what we have to do. And originally it was actually a mall, not this mall. It wasn't this mall. It was originally a mall in St. Louis um, that actually fell through. Um, because like, it, it, and also it was such a bad mall, <laughs> honestly. Like it wouldn't have worked for what we wanted to do. And it's like, it just wouldn't work. 
So then we were just like, okay, let's just search for a mall. We've already written it around this mall. We have to find another mall. And then we found this mall. And then it was amazing. We found a lot. Guys, there's a lot of abandoned malls. Okay, there's, there's a lot of abandoned malls everywhere. All right. And it, it is, it is so cool. But yeah, so it's sick. But yeah, so then we found this one and then we just go. Explain the swearing, please. <laughs> what do you mean? Guys, okay, if you are if you are if you are the people that are spamming about swearing, then you probably shouldn't have watched the show. <laughs> you probably you probably shouldn't have watched the show. I'm gonna be real. Like, I don't even mm, <laughs> Okay. I don't I don't know. You probably probably shouldn't have watched it. You know, there was there's some stuff that you probably shouldn't have seen. <laughs> oh man. No, I mean yeah. It was I thought it was like, hey, this would be a funny bet to show that it's like, you know, really a break of character, essentially. And also just to show that it's like, you know, not technically me. But yeah. There's, um, okay. Can I just tell you guys about something that I'm going to add during the third part that's going to be absolutely heartbreaking? In the Founder's Cut, basically. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. But when the mask was flashing, a lot of people saw that as like, oh, they're getting control of him. Like, what's going on again? Um, but no, it was actually, um, and this is, this is gonna this is gonna screw you guys up, and I'm so sorry. Uh, it was actually them putting his memories of before the show back. That's what all the flashing was. That's what the, that's what the flashing was. That's what all of it was. And that's gonna be apparent. Apparent. It's gonna be more apparent in the founder's cut. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the other thing that I'm gonna add during the founder's cut. Um, just so that you guys, you know, watch it. But that's that's what it was, basically. That was like originally, like that was just gonna be something that was gonna be left up to theory. Um, but that's what it was. The founders cut. The founders cut is something that I'm gonna upload um, on the Generation Lost channel, and it's gonna basically be just the sort of like a more digestible version of it. That's what it's gonna be. Yeah, that's what it was. What it was. You guys have to realize that, like, the, the, it's 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 sad. It's sad. I know. Um, I know. It's sad. I was literally just thinking about how sad the character was yesterday. <laughs> I was thinking, like, God damn. This poor guy. This poor guy. You just wanted him to be happy? Wasn't wasn't in the script. Wasn't not in the script. Yeah. Why do you look so blue? Because of the light, it's because of the lighting and everything. All right, it's because of the, it's because of the, it's it's the weird lighting in this place. I don't, I don't have it controlled. So I'm gonna look. I'm gonna. I and also, by the way, we have blacked out. There are like giant skylights in this mall that we have that we blacked out. So like, I have not seen the sun in like a month. Okay. All right. I have not seen. I have not seen the sun in like a. Month. Okay. So, give me a break. Is there going to be a continuation? Maybe. I... You'll see what I mean. Today, there is going to be something releasing on the Generation Loss channel that I feel like explains a lot about how Generation Loss works. Because currently... It is a lot different to what you guys think. 
it is a lot different to what you guys think. That's all I'm going to say. Was the crack in the mask the hint of a face reveal? Uh, no, the mask actually has a bit of a deeper representation of, um, and I didn't intend this when I wrote it, but I kind of realized it. Um, of basically, uh, the mask, the mask represents essentially the sort of control as well as just kind of like a lot, a lot. It represents a lot personally for me, um, in the sense of like taking it off ends the show, right? And you guys know, all right, if you've watched me for a while, of taking, of me, me physically taking it off, like, I'd probably, I'd, I'm going to be honest, I'd probably lose a lot of people. It's probably how it would work, because that's just how the internet is, and that's how, like, this content creation, and especially with, like, people that are faceless and everything, that's just how it works, okay? Like, that's just, that's just how it works. Um... And it's a, there's a lot to, there's a lot that, again, I didn't really intend, but there's a lot that lines up. And I've seen you guys, like, start to catch on about it as well. Um, like with Nikki, um, fun, fun fact about that, Nikki came up, like, literally during the dress rehearsal. Uh, she came out to me and she was just like, what if I, like, what if I'm just, like, crying the entire time and then, like, I stop crying, like, here. And then I just, like, give a little spiel. And then I just keep crying again. And then I was just like, yeah, sure. Absolutely. And then... So Nikki Nikki came up with all of that. Nikki Nikki came up with all of that. Like, like right before... Like, literally the day before the show. And I was just like, that's that's good. Yeah. And then Nikki also came up with, like, the, the little lower third thing as well. Like, it was... It, like, I was just like, yes, absolutely. Because I just... I, I didn't personally write the stuff for other streamers because I didn't want it besides like, you know, Charlie and Snake and everything. Um, but I just wanted them to feel comfortable and I wanted them to feel good in the show and everything. So I said, you can add what you want. Here are the, here are the rules of what's going on. You can add what you want. You can subtract what you want as long as you let me know. Because the last thing that I want someone to do is play a role that they're not comfortable with or like, you know, fly all this, fly all this way to just not like be just just not be happy with it it's like i i made sure i made sure that like you know everyone was comfortable and everyone like played how they wanted it to and it turned out really really good it, i think that the second episode is again one of my favorites i think that this show is just one of my favorites i'm like I, yeah. um <laughs> i'm so just not normal about this dude i'm so happy why did Nikki have to die? All of them had to die, dude. That's the show. All of them did. You guys chose who died in that first room. Do you guys not realize that? That was that was your decision. You guys chose. We didn't know. Yeah, you didn't know, but you still did. Everyone, everyone that every, like, we literally wrote it so that whoever got chosen by the chat dies in that room. What if, what if, uh, Vinny got chosen? Then we would not have him die in that room and we would have just gone on with no deaths and then someone wouldn't have been able to, uh, someone would have been, it wouldn't have been able to be in the show. <laughs> it wouldn't have been good. We were really, really banking on you guys not choosing Vinny <laughs> because that would have, like, ruined so much. Um... But yeah. <laughs> oh man. What about Frank? If Frank If Frank got chosen, uh Germa would have punched him in the face. Or the puzzler would have punched him in the face. And then we would have rechosen. Yeah. That's, that's what would have happened. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. That's that's what it was. Also, there are a lot of questions that people are asking that are going to be explained in the Founder's Cut. The Founder's Cut is going to add a lot more context to a lot. That's all I'm going to say. 
The Founder's Cut is really sick. I'm excited for it. Oh. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm so happy. Squiggles? You guys are just saying squiggles. You're not even asking a question. What? Yes, he's ex he exists. You guys are just saying... You're not even like... You're going squiggles question mark. And you're not even saying anything. You're not even saying anything. <laughs> Marketable plushie. There is, there is going to be a drop a few months from now that there is going to be stuff from like Showfall Media, from the collection and everything. So it'll be the Generation 1 drop, essentially. So it'll be like a, it'll be like in the future though. It'll be way in the future. How long will merch be up? I believe until around June 11th. And then the website is going to have an overhaul where it's going to be basically a, a central thing. Um, yeah, so you can only get merch until June 11th, I'm pretty sure. So, if you want to, if again, if you want to support the project, if you want to continue to feed into my delusions, then please buy the merch. Because I would love to be able to make more stuff. Alright. And, fun fact, the next generation, generation 2... Big announcement for Generation 2. I'm not going to say much about it, but I am going to give you guys a little bit of a, of, a, of a preview thing. As of right now, if you guys liked the religious imagery of the last episode, Generation 2 is going to be the one that I wrote entirely while listening to ghost songs. It is a pretty, it is a pretty sick one. I love it. But that's not going to be for like a while. I would say that's not going to be for, like, a while. There's going to be a lot. But there is something more happening in between. There is still something more happening between Generations 1 and 2. And you'll see. You'll see soon. How it works. It's sick. It's so, it's such a cool concept. And I'm just going to, I'm going to make it. Don't just stop there. No, I will just stop there. I will just stop there. It's cool. And also, it may be it may be in a different it may be in a different format than what you're used to. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Listen. One thing at a time. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the uh, I'm gonna make the generation lost team. And it's gonna be sick. It's gonna be so cool. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that you guys liked it. I was really I was so worried that everyone would just hate it instantly. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Soundtrack soundtrack's coming out pretty soon. Soundtrack's gonna be coming out pretty soon. Soundtrack's going to be coming out pretty soon. Nathan Hanover did a fantastic job. Very soon. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Uh, make sure also that you guys are following the Generation Loss Twitter account because I don't always interact with that. Because again, Generation Loss and Rambu are two separate things. As of right now, that is like... That Generation 1 is like the last time that I ever planned to really be... A focal point of the project in any way even as like a even as like a side character or something it is the last time because i love writing but i don't love acting as much and also i want it to be able to be just as it's its own separate ip generation loss and rambu two separate things yeah there's going to be a lot different this could be ah. Oh. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to be posting something a little bit after stream. Like I would say within like uh, like two hours after stream, there's going to be something on the Generation Loss YouTube channel that um, will explain a little bit. 
that will explain a little bit. Will other generations continue with CCs? Probably not. Probably not. There might be like a couple of like maybe, I don't know, depends. Guys, we'll see what I mean soon. Today is going to today is going to explain a lot about how everything works. You guys have to realize that generation loss is going to be a very separate thing. This was to get you guys to sort of move over to it, <laughs> and I it's it's cool. I really liked it. And I think it, I think it definitely did that. I think it definitely did that. This was to get you guys excited for it because there is just going to be so much of it now. As soon as I get this team up and running, you don't even know. It's going to be sick. It doesn't mean that there will never be. It doesn't mean that there will never be one. But just as of right now, not really, not really planned for, honestly. But we'll see. There's a slight plan for it. But it's not one of the main ones that I'm working on. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. How much of the Generation Lost world do, you, do we currently understand? Not a lot of it. But the pieces are all there. It's just that you guys are stuck in like one mindset. Of things. You guys are kind of you guys are kind of stuck in one mindset of like looking into it because it, it it works in a in a much different way. It's really cool. It's really really cool. Ah, I'm so excited! I'm so excited. Anyway, anyway, let's talk more about the show. Let's talk more about the show. Um. Yeah, so we started building like a couple months ago in this mall. We started building like a couple months ago and it was like completely just like, it was completely like just empty. And we built like all this stuff inside of it and it was incredible. Like it was so cool. Like we, we, we actually like took a lot of like the things that were like left in the mall and we were just like, this is ours. We're taking this now. And it was, oh, it was so sick. Can I do something guys? I want to show you guys my favorite thing about the last episode. Or about the last scene. One of the last scenes. I want to show you guys one of the one of my favorite things about the last scene. It is genuinely my favorite thing. This is an ad. I can't play this. Okay. I want to I want to show you guys this. So, okay. This is, this is a, just a little thing that I don't know how, if many people caught on to this. But it is a very, very cool little detail that I added because I wanted to. Alright. So. We all know. Let me take like a screenshot of it pretty much. We all know. Why is it such low quality? Um, That's fine. So we all know this scene. We all know this scene. Right? Again, spoilers if you haven't seen it, but we all know this scene. Right? I want you guys to take a look. I want you guys to really study this scene. I want you guys to tell me what's wrong with it. Okay? Because there's something very, very wrong with this. That, that I don't think a lot of people have noticed. Hold on. Ah! It's going to the right. <laughs> that was that is like my favorite detail of the entire thing. It's going to the right.
I'm so, you have no idea. Oh, I was just like, I want it to go over there. And then we get that. But you didn't go right. Exactly. Because the exit sign was covered up. The other one. I'm so proud of this detail. You have no idea. Like, it is, oh, it is so amazing. It, I'm, it's just my favorite thing. Like, it is the favorite thing of it. I'm just like, I was just like watching it. I was just like, yes! It's, it's my favorite detail of like literally the entire thing. Is that the exit sign is the wrong, is going that way. And I don't. <laughs> it's so cool. It's so, oh, I love it. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing of it. Because it's like, it's so, there's, oh, there's so much. Anyway, hold on. Let me show you guys. You guys want to see now, um, hold on. You guys want to see now, uh, or at least hear, uh, what Charlie had to record for his, for his towel death. I have, I have the audio. O on that note, let's, let's end it on a little bit of a higher note. Or not end it, I'm not leaving. But, so, this was him, like, recording his, he's, he's recording... So basically, this is... Hold on, I'll show you it for like a second, just in case any like notifications pop up or something, but... This is what it looked like. And then, and then we just had him go for like a couple of minutes of just screaming. So just listen, just listen to this. Hold on, I'll turn off the music. Just, just listen to this. And then this is this is a different one that we recorded um, because we wanted him to go more into it. So we had him just vamp for a while and um and <laughs> and just scream in front of the in front of the blue screen. It was so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> let me see. Let me see if I have any other videos that I can just really quickly show. I have a ton of, I have a ton of behind the scenes videos. It's, it's, it's great. It's so incredible. Or at least I, I, at least I have a couple of them. I have a couple of them. I have no, okay. I can't, I can't find any more right now, but again, you'll have to wait until the behind the scenes streams to, uh, to see a lot of them. Cause I'm going to get a ton. I'm going to just get a ton of them. <laughs> oh my god yeah there was there was a lot bloopers well some of the bloopers happened during the stream like germa breaking the door <laughs> we had to stand you have no that was the part that almost broke me like because i was just standing i was turned around i was standing i was looking and i just hear him go i think i broke the door and it was like, it was the funniest thing. It was the funniest thing. I thought that was planned. That was not planned. I was not thinking that he would just actually break the door. That wasn't pre-recorded. So, what wasn't pre-recorded in that, in that episode, the only thing that wasn't pre-recorded, or was pre-recorded, sorry, the only thing that was pre-recorded was the laser scene. That was the only thing in the entire episode. 
That was pre-recorded. That was it. Everything else, 100% live. 100% of everything else was live. The ending? The ending of episode 2 was live. Episode 3, there was a couple of things that were pre-recorded. Uh, the ending the ending sequence was pre-recorded for episode 3. But, for episode 2, that, would, that was the only thing that was live, was the, was the thing. Was the laser scene. Was the entire, like, laser sequence. How did you teleport? That, that was, that is a part of the laser scene. This, the laser scene starts on me walking through the, um, the thing. And then it ends on me teleporting. <laughs> yeah. Was the camera people being visible part of the plan? Um, so basically, we were trying to solve the problem of we have visible camera people. What the hell do we do? So for the second, for the first episode, it didn't really matter because we didn't have any visible camera people. But for the second episode, I was just like, let's just dress them up as well. They're just, they're just like the eyes and ears, basically. And then the same thing happened with the third episode where I was just like, okay, let's just make it so that they're like hacked, basically. And that was it. There's people in the back. Yeah, there's 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 people in the back. They're still they're still they're still working. <laughs> oh man. How'd you film the hallway chase scene? By running. <laughs> we did it by goddamn running. Um. So. Oh, you know, okay, you know what? You know the reason why my run looks so goofy in every single thing? It is because I I think I was literally I have so basically the way that we filmed the final run, right? In the cabin with the final run. Um basically I was going too fast. And we had basically two camera people holding the camera and running at the same speed. And I was running too fast. So I had to run, make it look like I was trying to run, but then run at, like, not my top speed. And so that's that's why. I'm, I'm fast. I die instantly because I don't have much lung capacity, but I'm fast. All right? How did you do the scene where Ethan died? Um, that one was done by having a little tube in the corner of the, um, in the corner of the bookshelf. And basically, so when the bookshelf turned around to reveal the statue, uh, we just had someone pour blood on the other side, and then it would start to pool at the bottom. Um, yeah. There are so many cool little things about this. Like, um, the fridge, the cab, the cabinet and the microwave. You guys probably could have, like, told all this and everything, but they all had fake backs, so we could close it, have them switch it out, and then do it again. Uh, and so that, that was it. So, like, the fridge and everything, how we got, like, the person in there, they just went through the back, and then it was great. Um, and then the box, um, the box, basically, if you, if you didn't see it, so when you, when you, like, look at the box, you can see that there are two wires that are right here, that get pulled and then that closes the box so they're like attached to the corners and that closes the box um and then there are tubes on on this thing and then there were tubes like right here that sprayed blood onto my face so that it would naturally trickle down my body um so that's that's how we did it so basically there was someone in the back that would pull the lever basically it would sh slam the box and then they would activate the blood which then would cause it to fall down and everything so you yeah, know it was great i was very bloody afterward yeah did you get any in your eye no it hit like right here it hit like right here yeah why was just your legs so bloody i do not know that's just how it fell yeah but no i'm 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 keeping the box that is a prop that i'm keeping <laughs> I'm, ke I'm keeping the box um, because I love it, and it looks really cool. I'm keeping the box, the button, a mask. Um, I'm keeping a lot. I'm keeping a lot from this thing. And then we might, cons we might I'm considering potentially uh, maybe later on down the line doing a charity auction for some of the extra stuff that we might have in storage. Um, 
so that you guys can actually potentially, you know, we could raise some money for charity and you guys could also get some stuff that's actually on the set. Um, like maybe some of the masks or something. Speaking of some of the masks, I have a fun story to tell you guys about this one. So, originally, this one was actually a uh, misprint. So it wasn't meant to have these windows and everything. Um, but then we kind of used it in the sense of like, um, oh, what if, we, what if it's like the programming mask for day two? And then, so that's why we use this one. So this is the one that I'm keeping. But it's a really, it's a really, really cool thing. Like, if you take a better look at it, like, it is really, really cool. So, like, it's completely visible. You can see really well through this thing. But then it looks, like, perfect from the outside. Um, it, it is, it is really, really cool. I'm trying to figure out a way to potentially mass produce something like these. Uh, and sell them. Uh, I was wearing it because I wanted to take it home with me. Why no windows? It's because they're most, they're meant to represent like the face and everything. So basically, the way that um, the the mask and everything uh, sort of like like came about was that I was like making I I basically in I was it was in like the kitchen, like like the Misfits kitchen uh, with uh, Gucky and I believe Sneak. I'm pretty sure and I believe Amy. Um, and basically, I was just drawing, and then I drew this i drew like a really crude version of, well actually look, hold on let me show you guys i can show you guys concept art now i'm going to be so i'm so happy i can show you guys the concept art that like i drew on like a tablet hold on where is it oh my god where is oh my god i don't know where it is hold on where would it be where would it be where would it be would it be in let's see if it would be in here it's not in here no hold on there's, hold on. I need, I need to find it. I need to find it because there it is. Oh my God. Okay. So <laughs> wait, 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 there's like a, there's like a better image of it. Hold on. There it is. You guys want to see the original thing that I, um, that I drew for the Showfall Media logo. This is like the original thing that I drew on like a tablet in a kitchen that I was just like, oh my God, this is it. There it is. This is the original, like, actual thing that I, that I drew and everything for it. And it was, yeah. That, that, this is, this is what, this is like the original, like, sort of concept that I sort of just scribbled out for it. And then I remember that, um, Ducky and I, like, basically just, like, just went, like, back and forth and just, like, drew out, like, a ton of stuff, which I think, which I think they showed as well so yeah it's it's sick and then i got back hold on let me show you guys what i got back and then i got back this so this was one of the first uh this was one of the first drafts of the logo from the actual uh designer hold on if it will if it will hold on if it will go there we go. Okay. This was one of the original ones. So you can you can tell where we were going with it and everything. Like, all right. And then I was just like, okay, but, 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 but there's some other stuff maybe here. And then after after a bit, after like a really a long time of back and forth, um, we finally got the actual one. We finally got the actual one, which was this one we finally got the original one it took a it took a while it took a while to uh to do yeah so this is this is the uh this is the progression of basically the logo which yeah it's pretty cool i like it I really, I really, really like this design because, because, and I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I don't know how many people noticed this, but we'll see. Basically, there's a cool little thing here that when you see, when you see this, 
you're going to go like, oh, what? And it's going to be crazy. It's in, it's in it. It's in the thing. That was the, that was the thing that I like needed for it was that it had to have that in it. It was, it, it, this, dude, you have no idea. This took me, like, so incredibly long to just, like, just even get, like, the basic concept for so I could actually, like, send it to people who could actually do art. <laughs> pretty cool. It is, it is pretty, pretty cool. Let me see if I can find some more, like, early drafts of stuff. Because... Oh yeah, so here's so here. There we go. So the person that made like the um the sort of like animations and everything for uh actually I don't know if I can show this, so never mind. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait just in case. I'm gonna wait just in case. Um yeah. <laughs> just just in case. Don't worry, you'll see more. You'll see more in the actual behind the scenes ones. But, um, yeah, and then let me see if I can find, ooh, wait, uh, this is good, hold on. Let me find, uh, da 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 there's something, there's something here, hold on. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find, like, some of the original stuff. Oh, yeah, so here's a closer look at the box. Here's a, here's a closer look at the box, actually. This is cool. This is a closer look at the box. So, there it is. That's a, that's a closer look at the box. Which is, like, it's so cool. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. And then... Oh, shoot! I don't even know if you guys can see this. Hold on. Not not this. You guys can see the box, but... I don't know if you guys could see this. But this is what the button looked like. This is what the button looked like. That's what the button looked like. Yeah. It, it didn't show up too well on camera, but that's what the button looked like. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm going to take the button home with me as well. <laughs> the button is also going to be mine. Let me see if, let me see if I can just find anything else cuz I'm just loving this. I can let me go into like the like the early assets thing. Because there's some cool stuff. Let me find it. Oh, they're all I'm trying to i I'm just trying to I'm just trying to find stuff from like the, the so many of the conversations that we had. There's a lot. There's a lot. We'll get it all sorted and during the um during the ones it'll be good. Ah. It's so cool. Tell us about the burn. Oh, yeah. So basically, when I laid down uh, right after the first sort of hetch scene in number one, um, I felt a sharp scratch on my back as soon as I laid down. And I was like, ouchie, that hurt. I guess the logo must, uh, or sorry, not a logo. I guess the wire must have scratched me. And then I kept feeling the scratch. And then that's when I went, oh, I'm currently getting burned by a wire. So that is why I didn't do anything during the intermission. It's because of the fact that I just thought that, like, I just thought that, like, you know, that, like, I was just like, oh, like, I'm just, I, this, I'm just fine. This is fine. And it's just one scratch. Um, but then it was more and, and more. And so if you ever see me, like, start, start to stand like this during, or like, you know, like, start to, like, uh, suddenly have good posture during the stream, it is because of the fact that I was trying to get the wire to stop burning my back. 
Um, and then I just like kept going and I was, cause I was just like, this is the first episode. And I've been, I've been working on this for over a year. If it was with anyone else, I would have wanted them to, to stop the show. I would have wanted them to say like, okay, now I'm getting burned by a wire. I gotta stop. But it's because it was me. I was just like, I gotta keep going. I'm not just gonna, I'm not just gonna let, I'm not just gonna stop the show because of this. And then I went through the show. And then I, a, immediately after the show, I walked to, um, I walked to the, uh, costume person on a, and went, I'm currently getting burned by a wire. Can you please take this mask off of me? <laughs> and her eyes just went, what? <laughs> it was so funny. Because everyone was like going like, yeah, dude, yeah, nice job. What a great first day. And then I was just like, I immediately, I like beeline it over to the, to the costume. I'm just like, I need you to get this mask off of me. I think I'm getting burned. Um, and then they like looked and then they were just like, you have to go to a hospital. <laughs> so it was just minor second degree burns. Okay. And they're healing nicely. They're okay. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have continued on with the show if I, if I like, if it would have put me in actual physical harm. So. Yeah. Minor second degree burns. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> That's what they said. That's what they said to me. They said they're, they're minor second degree burns. We talk about the posters. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So the posters were made by the lovely. Oh my God. Wait. Egg, are you here? Egg, are you, are you here? Because I completely forgot to ask because I'm really worried about butchering your username. I forgot to ask how it was pronounced. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, mods, if you could spam the link to the poster artist. I'm, I'm so sorry. I forgot. I forgot to ask. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to DM them right now. How do you pronounce name? <laughs> Um, basically, um, yeah, so Egg made the posters, absolutely fantastic job, hold on, <laughs> said it's okay, that, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't help, <laughs> they're <laughs> currently explaining to me how to pronounce it, and I am just still so confused. Wait, so Kurt? Kurt? Wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on, I don't know how to... <laughs> That's the thing, is that I don't... I don't know how to pronounce the word that they used in order to say... In order to help me pronounce the word. Kurt, Kurtwire. Kurtwire, I think. Is that how you say it, like Kurtwire? Am I saying it correctly? Kurtwire. But yeah. <laughs> poster artist <laughs> close enough i'm so sorry i don't <laughs> I, I i was like purpose i i literally i made a note to ask like right before the stream and then i didn't i didn't like an absolute loser like an absolute loser like an absolute loser <laughs> but yeah now, they made the posters absolutely incredible. Um, I'm currently trying to figure out a way to actually make physical releases of the poster and everything. So be on the lookout for that because it's going to be cool. Those will hopefully be sold on the shop and everything. And of course, a massive portion will go towards the artist that actually made them. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, hopefully in the process of making those, nothing is confirmed. But we're hopefully in the process of doing that. Um, so that'll be cool. So that'll be cool. Because I want you guys to be able to have some of the posters and everything. Yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, also, hold on. Let me show you guys something that I don't even think anyone anyone saw. You guys want to see something that's really going to blow your guys' minds. You guys really want to say see something that's going to blow your guys' minds. So... Do you guys know 
The whiteboards. The whiteboards. You guys know how there was two whiteboards. Day one, day two. I need you guys to look at this scene. And I need you guys to look very, very closely at it. Because I am so incredibly proud of this. Do you guys see anything else? Right near the exit sign. There is the whiteboard for day three. Third whiteboard. I, uh, I'm so I'm so proud of that one. I'm so proud of that one. That was like one of the plans that we had had since like the very beginning of just like, you know, there's the day one whiteboard, there's the day two whiteboard, and then just in the corner, blink and you'll miss it. There's a day three whiteboard. Speaking of blink and you'll miss it. Speaking of blink and you'll miss it. I, I I'm sorry. This is just a chance for me to like nerd about nerd out about my about like our decisions and everything because it is it I'm so proud of it. This is going to be this is going to really screw you guys up. Take a look at this. So Oh wait. Never mind, we cut it. <laughs> Originally, there was an original cut um which I might which I might include. But basically, there is like a blink and you'll miss it thing. Um that's why no one saw it because it wasn't in it. Um, but the, basically, the, the, the hetch and everything, he is gone as we turn back. And there was, like, a, a scene of us coming out of it where he was just gone in the background already. But I think they removed it, which might have actually been my decision. I don't know. But, yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, man. Oh, do you guys want to know a fun thing about the wire monster? Uh, the guy that plays the wire monster, he is, like, seven feet tall. And it was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> because there was originally plans to have scenes of me, like, more closely next to him. And I was just like... Like, if the monster is shorter than me, then that is going to be just, like, not scary at all. So, yeah. And honestly, he was such a nice guy. Such such a nice guy. <laughs> oh, man. But we were just like, yeah, if, if there's like this like scary monster and he's like shorter than me, then it's just not going to be scary at all. <laughs> oh, man. But the wire monster is one of my favorite things. The wire monster is just one of my favorite things. Um, I remember it was something that I conceptualized uh, with Gucky. And basically, we just, like, we just, like, brainstormed around it and everything. And originally, it was supposed to be just this, like, this, like, big, like, burly monster thing. Um, but then we, the, but then when um, our, like, team actually started to, like, design it in the costume and everything, we were just like, okay, let's have, like, a person wear it and have it be more, like, like slender and everything. And um, we originally wanted to have a way to um, have, like, the TV actually, like, flash different things. But that was too complicated, and it would have cost too much money to do. Um, because this was also just like that we were, we, I was, we almost went over budget on this project. Um, like any, any, uh, any like producers and everything watching, you know, any, any Hollywood executives watching, um, I'll make a lot of weird stuff. Give me money. Thank you. I'll make some weird stuff. I just want to make weird things, and I just want to make what's in my brain. So, any any Hollywood executives, A24, hit me up. I'll make something crazy. I'll make something wild. I've already got it. I've already got it in my mind. I'll pitch it to you. <laughs> give, give me money, please. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you so much for the past cool streams. Yeah. I, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I just, uh, at the end of the day, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. And thank you guys for all the subs today as well, as well as during the streams too. M means a ton. Like, it was incredible. But yeah. 
talk about the SOS. Yeah, so there was the SOS at the uh, beginning of episode one. There was the SOS at the beginning of episode two. And uh, there was the one during two as well. But I was just like, let's just add, let's just like, oh, let's just get into character. Let's do it. You know? There's one in episode one. Yes, if you uh, zoom in on my hand, I'm laid out like this on the couch. And then um, I was tapping it. There are so many details in this thing. <laughs> there are so many details in this thing. I'm just little acting things that I did because I was just like, I really wanna, I really wanna make this just as painful as it can be. How did the cameraman run backwards so fast? He um he switched the camera around and then he ran forwards. It was it was absolutely incredible. We have multiple camera transitions during that scene that were just seamless. It was so good. <laughs> he was still speedy. Oh yeah, that scene was terrifying to film. Yeah, but um, if you guys want to see my favorite shot of the whole thing, one of my favorite shots of the whole thing is um is this. One of, one of like my favorite, my favorite shots. I do not know why it is so, well, let me get it. Okay, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little pixely. But one of my, one of my favorite shots of the whole thing is this one. I absolutely love it. And also, by the way, the Founders Cut will have like, high quality like full resolution scenes as well so it's not going through any stream stuff it is going directly from camera so you'll be able to see this scene as it was recorded in in, in full quality this is one of my favorite ones it is so cool we have so many cool pictures of the button that i can't wait to show but that's during the day that's during the day three behind the scenes that one's during the day three behind the scenes. The lighting is amazing. Okay, I just want to say the team that worked on this, I could not have chosen better people. I didn't even choose them. Better people could not have been chosen. <laughs> I didn't I didn't do I didn't do crap. Um, but like they were all so into it. Like our director and everything. He was just like, this is like one of the most fun things that I've worked on, everything. Everyone was so happy. It was such a good like just experience like literally um my uh like one of like our like set decorators um Louie was like coming up to me and she was just going like I had this idea like you know what if we like put like this like bucket of uh like red paint and we labeled it slime and I was just like that's perfect let's do it let's put it in um and then yeah like everyone was so like into the story and into everything that it was just like they added so much to it like our, our props department as well like they they were all just so into it and so happy with it and just like they all just had such a just a, a blast and everyone was so like happy working on it like i was making sure that like everyone like i kept on like checking in i was kept on being like hey guys are you still comfortable with this like you know like how are you feeling and they were just like we're, we're loving this this is great like this is like just something different um, so it was just such a good energy to have. Like, everyone was so happy. And I'm, I'm very, very happy about it. Like, when, when I was, like, explaining everything, and I would, like, they would get into it and, like, start bouncing off, and it was just, like, I'm so sad that it's over. Because it means that, like, I can't keep working on it. <laughs> I mean, I get to make the Founders Cut. Um, but after that, Generation 1 is done. After the Founders Cut, Generation 1 is... is over. Which makes me so sad. But then, there's the inter... There's the between Generation 1 and 2. Which is an interesting story. Which I really like. So... Yeah. It's very, very interesting. Yeah. So, Generation 2 will hopefully be released, uh, poof, depends. Honestly, I'm just waiting, to, I'm developing the team, we're gonna start working on the stuff that's going to be in between Generation 1 and 2. Um, 
And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna work on that. An estimate? I have no idea, because it is a lot of writing, but we'll see. And again, it's going to be understandable. The way that everything works is going to be understandable. Yeah. Like, the way that everything works is going to be very understandable. I'm going to make sure on the website, basically, I'm going to separate every generation. I'm going to... Because I already, I already have separated the generations on, um, on YouTube. But I'm going to do that on the website as well, where it's going to show not only the videos, but also the promotion, all the promotional material in it. And it, it, like maybe we'll have some like hints or clues to help explain it and everything. I am not going to make something that is unexplainable, or that there's like there's like multiple like things to it. Like the story of each generation is open and shut. That is how it works. All right. But yeah. We get some full quality screenshots as well. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Again, I, I think that the um, the uh, the founders the founders cut is going to be in like full 1080p. It's going to be in, in in full 1080p, so it is going to be in 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 high quality. And then I'm also going to just upload some other screenshots in full quality as well. Like we have like 4K full quality as well. Not 4K. Not all the cameras were 4K, so we're going to make them some of them 1080p. I think I'm going to try to make it 4K if I can, but I don't know. 4k charlie <laughs> no yeah i saw something that was just like put charlie in more movies let me make a movie and then you'll get it all right let me let me make a goddamn movie and i'll and i'll do it all right so if you want to see cooler projects come out of this thing we have merch <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to promote the merch. If you want to see higher higher quality stuff, then get the merch. Generationloss.tv. You know, it's it's right there. Look at that. It's very it's very high quality. It's very good. And it arrives not like six months later. It'll actually some people have already gotten it. At least the uh you know, some people have already gotten like some of like we have we yeah. The Founders Edition shirt. There it is. That was the word that I was looking for. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty sick. Yeah, it won't, it won't hopefully take too long. And again, we have customer support as well. We've got customer support, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so incredibly happy. What scene made you cry when you first saw it? I was crying yesterday because I was thinking about how sad this character was. <laughs> I was crying yesterday because I was thinking about how just incredibly sad this character was, honestly. Like, I was just like, dude, what the hell did I do to this guy? <laughs> this dude is just suffering, man. But that's what horror is, kind of. Just suffering a little bit. Is the merch gonna sell out? Um, it is not going to sell out, but it goes through like phases. So it's like if you order it near the end, it might arrive like a couple of weeks later than if you ordered it now. So if you're gonna if you're gonna get it, it might as well, you know. <laughs> oh man. Let me see, let me see. Sad character. Oh, such a such a sad guy. All of them are sad. Are you kidding me? All of them are sad. Who's your favorite character? I have no idea. I've honestly have no clue. Sneak. Yeah. Oosh. Eesh. Yep. I mean, they're all the cast. So. Yikes. You never know. I mean, they, they, we'll see. Uh, will they be in generation 1.5? That's not what it is. 
In between generation two is not one and two is not generation one point five. I would say, and again, you'll see more about this, but what is what is going to be in between generations is going to be the story of essentially generation zero. Because there is a lot sorry. Because there is a lot to it than just being the name of the playlist. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> I just saw those guys like just slowly go. But yeah. Again, I'm going to release a video like literally right after this. <laughs> just a guy with a forklift. <laughs> oh, man. There's a lot going on. <laughs> I am so excited to release that video because it reveals so much. I'm having such a good time. I literally, yesterday, I was just like, I just want to work on this thing more. I want to just keep working on this thing. <laughs> like, literally, I was like, at like our like rap. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Thank you. Thank you, Ren and Carriera, for the for the hundred tier ones. What the hell? Thank you so much. I hope that I hope that you're doing good. It's gonna go right into the project. It's gonna go right back into it. So thank you. That means a lot. Oh my god, I hope you're doing well. How was filming the last scene for you? Oh, I genuinely, I genuinely cried. I genuinely cried so much i was i basically what i did was i just like i just walked i walked over to it heads da head down just staring and i just convinced my brain like i'm going to die i can i just went into my brain and i was just like i'm going to die this is it this is this is like after this this is all I've done. I've been trapped in this thing. And the only way out is either, you know, continue the, the cycle of, of pain that I'm feeling. Or death. And there's nothing that I can do about it. That's what, that's, that's what I convinced myself. And then I just screamed a lot. And then that's what I did. That's not healthy. Acting. I don't actually feel that way. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No. That's what you just what you do. I didn't actually convince my brain. I didn't convince my brain fully, but I just like got really really sad, basically. I just got really really sad and I was just like, "Man, this is going to be so sad." <laughs> That's what it was. Forklift guys are back. <laughs> oh, man. I would say, personally, personally, based on the morality of the situation, that you guys made the right choice. I would say, I would say, that personally, you guys made the right choice. It's sad, and it's devastating either way. But it's supposed to, it's not necessarily supposed to represent, but it does represent the idea of when content creators get stuck in something that they don't want to do. And it is essentially the decision of the, the viewers of whether or not they're able to, you know, con continue to be trapped in this, in this cycle or leave it. Now, obviously they don't die. But, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of that thing of just like, you know, there's that there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of like moral interpretations that can be gotten from this, I believe. And again, I didn't originally write it to be like that, but there was a lot of things that like like after I wrote it and we were going through it, I was just like, oh, huh. 
That's kind of interesting. What was with the box muting all the sound? I died. What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Why didn't you speak after it? Because I died. I didn't, I didn't want you guys to have any build up to it. I wanted it to just be like that. I wanted, I wanted it, that, that scene I had been in my mind, that had been in my mind for so long that it's just like, I want you guys to feel like you actually killed someone. I want you guys to feel like you were genuinely forced to kill someone. And I wanted you guys to feel the moral implication of, well, it wasn't my one vote that did it, but it was all of you as a, like a collective. And I wanted you guys to feel just like empty inside afterward. <laughs> It's what I wanted from it. That was the horror of it. That entire show was to lead up to that, basically. That's what I wanted. I wanted to see... It was it was a thing in my mind of just like, I wanted to see if I could convince people to actually, like, feel like they did kill someone. I wanted, to, I wanted them to feel that moral ambiguity and that despair of like, well, we did the right thing, but did we really, or did we not, or what's going on? And dead, death won by 3,000 votes. Death won by 3,000 votes. It was very close. It started, it started like on like full live. And then as you guys started to realize more and more of what was actually the implications of it. It was crazy. Because you were screaming for it. Well, yeah. That's when, that's when, that's when Rambu did that too. That's when he realized it too. You can, you can, you can hear him begging it for a third option. If there's anything else. And... There isn't. That's the thing, is that dead either way, basically. It's either now or is it, you know, having to deal with that, having to see all of that, you know? God, dude. Yeesh. People are saying 50-50 again. There is literally no way that it would have been 50-50. Like, it's just not really statistically possible so we never we never really thought about that but it probably just would have been death we probably just would have yeah it probably would have been death because death was the one that i preferred we almost did it but you don't understand if it was 50 percent and 50 percent there would still would have been like maybe like 100 votes either way that's the thing is that it didn't go into like specific percentages so it probably would have been like 49.81 like and like 50.19 or something, you know, which means that there still would have been a result. Yeah. Yeah, but just imagine if we didn't, then it probably just would have been die. We probably just would have been like, yeah, it was still die. <laughs> but if it had, if it had chosen live, then we probably we we didn't really plan for it too much, but it probably would have been the live ending. But um, nope. Yeesh. Guess you'll never know. Guess you'll never see it. Guess you didn't. The hole in the mask? Yeah, I thought that was a cool thing to do. I just wanted to show blood coming out of my mouth, so... I did. <laughs> I was literally just like, I want to have blood coming out of my mouth. How do I do that? And I was just like, okay, I'll just like get rid of like this part of it. Or this part. It was just like, pretty. <laughs> pretty. It was great. <laughs> uh, you have a mouth? Again, if you are saying that, you probably shouldn't have watched this show. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm being mean. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. All right. Thank you, Hazel, for the enter once. Thank you. You just saw someone's guts. 
Oh my god. Also, really cool thing about the third episode that I want to talk about. Um, basically, really cool thing is that the two decisions that I make... I think I only make, uh, and I think, I'm pretty sure that there's only, like, two decisions that I'm not either, like, 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 co like, course towards or, like, shown towards. It is choosing the wrong code and saving Charlie. Because I am told, find an exit. And then I'm trying to find an exit. And finding Charlie actually stopped me enough for those guys to chain up the doors. So by stopping for Charlie, I didn't, able, I wasn't able to escape. By choosing the wrong code, it started the alarm, which then had all of that happen. I believe so. I could be wrong, because I know that there's, like, a lot of, like, improv -y bits, so there may have been more decisions that I did actually make. Um, yeah. Also, cool thing about the, uh, the, the Hetches line. Um, cool thing about the Hetches line is that, um, basically, <laughs> he literally says the Hetch did this. <laughs> ah, my water bottle. He literally says it in that in that final scene. He literally says it. Like, <laughs> which I just thought was kind of funny. I just got that was kind of funny because it's like, yeah, he literally did. Oh, also, I don't know if this got picked up, but um, one of the streamers and everything um, was actually. Our um our set our set decorator, uh Louis, and she basically said she was the um the the D and D streamer. I don't know if it got picked up, but uh she came up with the idea of like what if you say to use a spell that basically means to control a person. So that's another cool little thing that um that she actually came up with. That's really cool, the dominate person spell. Yeah, yeah, she came up with that. He was just like, hey, I have, a, I have, like, a little cool detail. Tell me if it's too nerdy. And I was just like, that is perfect. People caught that? Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad people caught that. There are so many things that I'm just like, ah. I thought, like, ooh, it's so cool. It's all so cool. It's so cool. And Charlie was just talking nonsense. Yeah, Charlie was like, 10 subs and I'll get my balls out. I was like, okay. <laughs> like, in my mind, I was just like, Jesus Christ. You can't do this to me. <laughs> I was just like, dude, you can't, you cannot do this to me. Uh. Was, was Rambu ever not under control? Um... During the so basically, the the control idea is one that is best explained by this line. It is change someone's perception of reality, and they will act how you want. That is that is essentially the sort of. That is basically the line that I had in my mind while thinking about how it works. So, it's not even, like, so, maybe in, like, you know, certain areas, like, the reality is more changed to certain things. Maybe they're saying some, seeing something that is completely different. There's a lot. There's a lot. But that was, that was sort of one of the sentences. But, you know, no. I feel like, like, after, sort of, like, the reset and everything... Why was he acting like an NPC? Because it was after the... The fixing of the mask, basically. Yeah, there's a lot. I'm not going to explain too much. Because I don't want to over-explain. But, yeah. Did Rambu try to warn Ethan? That's an interesting one. Because when you actually watch it, he, he goes up to him, points towards the right door, and goes, I don't think it's that way. And what did not going that way do? 
There's also, when we are turned around, which, again, this is going to be a lot more clear in the Founder's Cut. When we're turned around, I am staring directly at Ethan. Yeesh. Sometimes people are just, people are just used to move the story along. That's just kind of how it worked a little bit. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I'm so, I, I just really like it. I just really like this show. It's very nice. It's very cool. And I'm very happy that you guys also enjoyed it. I'm going to be honest. Like, I'm really, I'm so incredibly happy that you guys enjoyed it. Like, I'm so happy that you guys enjoyed it. Like, oh. It's very nice. It was very, very nice. And I just want to, I want to make more. I want to make more stuff. You know? I just want to make more cool stuff. But I have to figure out how to get funding for more cool stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. Because this was, this came out of my own pocket and everything. And I didn't take any sponsors. So, it... It, it, I kind of don't have the ability to do this big of a scale again. Basically, to, to put it to put it lightly, I don't have the ability to do this type of thing again. Uh, right now. Uh, hopefully one day. Hopefully one day. Uh, but thankfully, I am going to be streaming more. I'm going to be uploading on the Rambu Was Live account soon. We're going to get that all figured out. Um, and basically, Rambu is going to sort of just be a way for me to fund that project. So, the merch and everything, again, if you guys can, it's really nice, it's really cool, and it's the best way to support me. Um, because 100% of it is just going to go back into generation loss, and to just make more stuff, and just to make more cool stuff. So... If you want to keep watching it, or if not if you want to keep watching it, but if you want to, you know, be able to be a part of the reason why we're able to do cooler, cooler things, then, yeah. Um, and also, once I get a team, and I see if, like, it's if it's possible, we might make a Patreon down the way, uh, if, like, we have enough going on, um, to the point where, like, that would need one, so, like, you guys can see, like, more concept art through it and everything, you guys can see all of that, um, just, again, as an extra way, because... I know, I know it may seem, I know it may seem as if I'm doing this as like, oh, this is just a way to get more money or something. But like, genuinely, I am not expecting this project to ever make anything for me. I'm never expecting it to ever actually like do anything for me. Everything that it makes, it is just going to go back into it. And I'm just going to keep on making more and more stuff for it because I... I love it. I love it so much. I love working on it. I love I love seeing your guys' reaction to it. You know, like... I just love it a lot. So, it's something that I want to keep doing for... However long I can keep doing it for. So, that is why I'm making merch for it. That is why I'm, like, you know, doing the, the advertisements for the merch and everything. It is mainly just so that I can keep on doing this and keep on doing it to the quality and to the scale that I want to do it at. So yeah, so thank you guys again for like, you know, being so damn supportive about it. Because it, it means it means so much. It means so so much. Oh man. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But yeah. Um let's talk about Rambu for a bit. We've talked about generation loss, but let's talk about the channel where it's gonna go um basically i'm gonna keep streaming i'm gonna keep on making stuff we've got the um the charity event this uh the one of us charity event this saturday as well 
um, that I'll be playing in. And so I'm going to keep streaming. I'm going to keep doing stuff. And, um, yeah. So I'm going to upload more on the Rambu Was Live channel. So you can, you can go subscribe to that as well. It's going to be a place for, like, compilations. It's going to be a place for just, like, you know, the streams, but edited down. And it's basically just going to be, like, the sort of, like, Rambu... It's it's still gonna continue. It's still gonna continue. Yeah. Guys, don't please don't spam. Guys, please. Wait, are you spamming just to spam, or are you spamming because you're excited about it? I can't tell. Don't spam. Don't spam. Spamming is cringe. But thank you. But yeah. No, that's very cool. That's gonna be happening this Saturday. So yeah, it'll be it'll be sick. It'll be sick. But yeah, um, yeah. So now that I'm not as busy with it, I'm just gonna stream more frequently. But yeah, I'm glad you guys are excited about it though. It's very it's very very good. I just want to make sure because I am going to start to be and mods are as well are also gonna start to be more like cracking down on stuff. All right, so we're we're just gonna make sure. About that because we want chat to be good you know we want chat to be a fun place to be where you can like make your jokes and everything joke around do all of that you know it's and it is it is a-okay but yeah it's gonna be very cool i'm very excited for the future yeah i'm hoping that you guys again enjoyed generation lost like i'm oh, i'm so happy with it i'm so incredibly happy with it and look at this. Look at this back. This is where I've been for the past, like, month. This is where I've been streaming from. <laughs> this is where I played Resident Evil, and my, and my screams echoed throughout the mall. Which, by the way, I got a goddamn mall. Do you have any idea how happy I am? <laughs> I'm, so ha I'm so happy about it. I'm so happy about it. It's so cool. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. I love it so much. I finally got it. Do you own it? No. Unless we, unless enough people buy the merch. <laughs> buy the merch and I'll get this mall. <laughs> no. But yeah. I love abandoned malls and I've always wanted to do something in it. So I'm really glad that the first one has been in it. I'm really, really happy that the first one was it. Because it's so cool. It's so cool. I'm so, I'm so, so happy. I'm so, so happy about it. Like, I'm, I'm, again, this is going to get cheesy. But for the people that stuck through, like, the couple of years of where this project has gone, up and down, all around, left, right, up, down, around, I could not thank you guys enough for sticking with it. And to all the people that are, like, new to watching me from it. I hope that you enjoy watching me. I don't know. But if you're just here for generation loss, that is completely okay as well. You do not have to like me to like generation loss. In fact, I'm, I'm completely okay with that. You know? Um, but also, if you do, you know, like what I do, then welcome. I'm, I'm very, very happy. I have not felt this amount of, like, support and love for something that I've created in so, so long. So it's been, it's been amazing. It's been amazing, and I'm gonna keep working on it. I'm gonna keep working on it, and it's gonna be so cool. I really, really hope that it can be something in the future that will outgrow me or something. That'd be amazing. Because I just want to keep, I just want to keep working on it. I just want to keep working on it. And it's what I'm going to do. It's what I'm going to do. I'm so, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped for it. And also, if any of my, I have no idea. But if any of my friends are still watching this, thank you guys. You know who you are. For listening to me ramble. For listening to me talk about this. For helping 
in so many ways with like concepts and everything being people that i can just bounce off of and being people that like came up with their own ideas for it like genuinely i cannot thank you guys enough for it as well i have no idea if any of them are even still watching but yeah but thank you um and thank you guys again for all the support you know coming coming into those streams that i you and i used to stream daily for like 200 days allowed me to to make this so thank you for tuning into that and also if you're if you again if you're new thank you for watching it i hope that you enjoyed it it's really really cool and people use clips of it of course i've been liking so many edits of it because they're so cool i love them so much like literally all of my tiktok page has just been a bunch of edits of it and it's been so amazing make content ah make content about it if you want to that is completely okay do whatever you want. Do analysis. Do just make whatever. Do like essays if you wanna. It helps me out. It it, it like you're the stuff that you guys make helps me out so much. And obviously, only if you want to. Only if you feel passionate about it. Because I love to see how passionate this has made people as well. Like, I love to see how passionate this has made people. It has been absolutely incredible it has been absolutely incredible to see like i am i am so so happy with it i'm gonna keep working on it i'm gonna just keep working on it all right and you guys are not gonna have to wait another like eight months for cool stuff to come out there's gonna continue to be cool stuff to come out but once again this story again this is an important thing the story has opened this story is closed with the founders with the, with the founders cut the story is closed and i cannot thank you guys enough for that and then it's on to the next generation it's very very cool i'm very very excited and you never know it may open again down the line very soon but the social experiments are are i cannot believe that it's i'm so sad i'm so sad that it's over i'm so incredibly sad but um, it's just cooler and cooler things. It's just going to be cooler and cooler things, honestly. I'm going to make sure of that. I'm going to put in so much work into it. I'm going to put so much work into it. It's going to be it's going to be so cool. I love it so much. I'm I'm so excited. so damn excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I think that'll be the stream for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching Generation Loss. I'll see you guys very, very soon. All right. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna follow, if you wanna subscribe, if you wanna do whatever. Hold on. Wait for it. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. If it will let me. Hold on. Give me a second. <laughs> it's not letting me. Hold on. Uh, uh, window, window, window capture. There we go. Add. Add window capture. Add. Hold on. Give me a second. Add this. There we go. Okay, if you want to subscribe, if you want to follow, now would be the time. It'll show up on screen. There we go. It'll show up on screen. It'll do the, it'll, it'll do the thing. Look at that. If you want to do that. But thank you guys for watching. It means a ton. I hope that you guys are all doing well. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um... Yeah, it's gonna be sick. We're gonna have we're gonna have such a fun. Oh my god, that's a lot of followers. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Yeah, if you wanna. That's a lot. Uh, thank you. Thank you for following. Thank you. It means a lot. Hope that you guys are all doing. You'll show up on screen. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. Why are there so many? I'll I'll just keep it I'll just keep it going for a second. I'll just keep it. I'll just keep it going for a second. Thank you. Thank you for the tier ones as well. Thank you for the new, the new subs and everything. Thank you guys. It means a ton. Thank you for supporting me and everything that I'm doing. It means so much. I'll just leave this open for a second. Hold on. That's a lot of people. <laughs> that's a lot of. That's a not a lot of new people. Thank you, Zale, for the five tier ones. Thank you. And thank you for oh my gosh thank you for the new the new subs as well thank you oh my god thank you so much 
Thank you. That's so... I honestly... I'm going to be honest. For the... It, the, the support that I have seen from people that have, like, not watched me before has been really, really cool. Because for the longest time, I thought that there would be no way for me to, like... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's just been really cool. For the longest time, I didn't think that that was possible. But... I guess so. I guess it is. But thank you guys. That means a lot. That means a lot. The support that has come from this project, a million, a million times over, so worth it. Thank you, Prince Sam, for five months. Thank you. But yeah. I, I can't thank you guys enough for it. And I'm going to keep on making cool stuff. All right? I'm going to keep on making cool stuff. All right, I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'll let you guys know. Follow the WinRambu live account to know when I'm live. That's that's where you go to. That's where you go to know. That's where you go to know. All right, I'll, I'll, I I usually tweet like a couple of hours before I go live on that account, so you'll know. All right, I'll see you guys. Have a good day. All right. Bye everyone. Bye 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 bye. -bye. See you guys. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.